Here we are going to use the serial monitor con to control the buzzer. First make sure you have the pitches.h library so that the buzzer plays nice sounds. Here we have defined all the different notes we're going to use. We have serial begin and we're making the buzzer an output. First we have to check if the serial is available and then do something we haven't done before which is serial read. In this case, it's going to read what letters or numbers you enter into the serial monitor. Here I also have serial write. Notice that I use serial write instead of serial print. This is because we're going to be writing letters and not values from a sensor. Down here we're going to use something called switch case. Similar to the for loop and the if else statements, anything within this block will be part of the switch case. I've defined the different cases as being specific letters that you type into the serial monitor. When you type in the letter C, the tone will send a note to the buzzer, in this particular case, note C. If you type D, the note the buzzer will play will be note D, and so forth. At the end, I've created a no tone so that if you type in the letter S, the buzzer will stop making sounds. That's the end of the switch case. That's the end of the if statement. And then the very last curly brace is for the end of the void loop. So let's test it out. <laughs> 